what do we have? First trades give me the pre-open was indicating a 50-point higher start, and we are getting about an 80-point uptick as far as market open is concerned. 25, 200 nearly. Uh, you've got the Nifty Bank, which is up a quarter percent. That's 51,920. Uh, this is a pretty good start. Sensex is up about a third of a percent. Mid-cap index is up a third. IT index uh, is uh, up 0.6 percent. We'll look at HCL tech stock as well in just a bit. The Nifty heat map is coming up on your screen, and it's largely uh, up in the green. So yeah, I mean, uh, about what eight odd names which are lower, but everything else is starting uh, in the green at this point in time. Let's get to stock for a bit. Okay, well, <clears throat> uh, Reliance for the time being has started off a little on the uh, weak footing, yeah, about half a percent lower. There's ONGC, which is also down. So there's a very clear crude play uh, with the upstream uh, guys losing out. And if you look at BPCL, it's the top Nifty winner. So the marketing and refining companies are having a much better day. And I'm looking at the others as well. Along with BPCL, <clears throat> yeah, IOC and HPCL, all of these stocks up between 1 and 2%. So that's your crude play immediately. Asian Paints, again, explains what's going on. I mean, 1.5% uh, up. So sentiment up move in a lot of the beneficiaries with the crude oil prices falling overnight. Infosys is up about 7 tenths of a percent. Let's see what HCL Tech is doing because the performance was really good. About half a percent up on HCL Tech with the guidance increase coming in at the lower end. Trent, SBI Live, Britannia, these are some of the other stocks that are contributing this morning on the upside. Uh, the market's cooling off just a little bit, about 60 points higher. Aside, yeah, Reliance is now the, the big drag on the way down, 1% lower. I think the retail performance is something that wouldn't go down too well with the street just because it's a little sluggish at the top line level while Geo is firing on all cylinders. Uh, JSW Steel, Hindalco, Coal India. So these are the other stocks on the losing, uh, losing side. So oil and gas, commodities, metals in general a little soft as we start the day. Well, I think the stronger dollar is playing its role, right? Uh, this, there's an inverse relation between metals as well as uh, the dollar move. So I think the stronger dollar overnight is plaguing some of those metal-related names. Let's focus on a few names. Angel One, splendid results, stock firing away, up close around 7%. So good move is what we're seeing out there. Oil cools, as should be mentioned, you have uh, OMCs that are doing well. And Berger Paints, that's one of the big gainers today. That's up close to around 3%. So that's doing very, very well in today's trading session. India Mart as well is up close to around 2%. So good move is what we're seeing out there. Ola Electric, I think I saw a shade of green to kickstart trade. They kickstarted the festive season on a strong note is what they've said. They have cemented their market leadership further in the EV two-wheeler space. And as of October 14th, they say that their market share is at around 34%. So the street likes that for the time being, that's opened up with some green. Last few days, you've seen good amount of volumes on Greaves Cotton as well. That stock as well has opened up with a gain, I think, of around 2%. So good move is what we're seeing on that one. Bartek Vabag, they won a mega order of around 1,000 crores odd towards a, a seawater desalination plant at Indosol Solar Project in Andhra Pradesh. For the time being, that one as well, I think, has opened up uh, higher. Vartek Babak, let's uh, pull up that stock. The order book now, I believe, is close around 15,000 crores, which is uh, super duper. So, good order visibility, up 2.5%. Jane Irrigation on the losing end, <clears throat> that's one of the volume losers. It's down to around 62 rupees. It was around 85 rupees earlier this year. So, that's seen a sharp correction. One of the stocks had bounced back and now getting... Uh, sold into so 62 rupees on chain irrigation as well but otherwise a good start it's a good start uh, 60 points 65 points so 25,000 just under 25 200 is where we are at uh, the biggest volume led gainer is uh, angel one with an eight percent pop uh, so that is right there on the leaderboard cdsl is another one which is a close second uh, three percent higher and a very large volume cdsl was of course a big mover yesterday as well along with bsc which went up seven percent Let's look at BSC for a quick bit uh, as well. Big volumes, by the way, uh, on BSC yesterday. Half a percent on, so 48.32 there. Actually, it's all capital marketplace, right? JM Financial is the number three biggest volume led gainer. 5% pop, 163 uh, on uh, JM Financial. I can spot CAMS with a 1.5% gain. Uh, so that is at number six or so. But big volumes uh, on that one for this point in the day. 361 is another capital market play, 2%. Wealth manager, 1,085 there. Uh, but volumes here are a little lower. K Fintech, decent sized volumes. K Fintech is up about 2.5. So I think uh, a lot of these uh, capital market plays are doing well. Uh, what else? RK Forging is up 2. I mean, HP, HPCL is up about 3%. We should look at IOC and BP as well with the drop in oil. That uh, tends to have a reaction. Uh, Premier Explosives uh, saw a big move yesterday, and I think it's up another 7% uh, today. 
So uh, from uh, what Thursday, Thursday's close of what 248 stocks moved to about 320 in uh, two sessions flat. Uh, so, you know, that's uh, that's something to watch out for. VATEC, Vabag, I was talking about this, the order this morning, 7% uh, yesterday, another 3.5% this morning. Uh, and there's Walk Hard Farmer, which is which is starting about 5% in the green as well. So, 1,098 right now. You know, on Walk Hard, I just want to mention, <clears throat> ever since they announced uh, uh, them nearing approvals for this pneumonia drug, it's an antibiotic drug for pneumonia, where they're getting approvals in India. The stock's, uh, you know, been doing this 5% 5, 5 circuit yesterday and today, so the market's pretty excited about the opportunity. And on RK Forgings, UBS has initiated coverage uh, with a buy call. They, they think 1500 is possible on the stock. That's the target price, which is substantially higher. So that stock's in focus. But look at the, the star today, Angel One, flying away. 8% now. Absolutely. So uh, 